Welcome to Historical Seguin. Seguin is located about a 30-minute drive east of San Antonio, right off of I-10. Uh, there's about 30,000 people that live here. It's in Guadalupe County, and it's named after Juan Seguin. Juan Seguin was a Tejano Texian who fought during the Texas Revolution. He was in every major battle of the Texas Revolution. He was even the mayor of San Antonio, and he was a congressman or excuse me, a senator. So a very prominent person in this area. Seguin was founded just shortly after the beginning of the Texas Revolution. It used to be a midway stopping point for Texas Rangers. And that's how it kind of got started. The city has the Guadalupe River that runs through it. And it's really close to Lake Dunlap. And it has Lake Placid inside the city as well. So we're about 20 minute drive from New Braunfels and about a 30 minute drive from San Antonio. Small town, big heart, building dreams that always fall apart. Slow days, fast cars, nowhere to go, so we stay where we are. So if you like disc golf, Seguin has a course right by TLU. And in one way out Seems like it's always cloudy in this town I'll find sunshine Behind me is St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. It dates back to 1886. And this is just one of many churches that are, offer services throughout Seguin. The other side of that one stop sign We've been scared of our whole lives I'll find home in lonely days I'll find sunshine in the rain Dad's gone, nine to five Works real hard keeping on the lights Of that neon Behind me is the Haunted Historical Magnolia Hotel. This hotel dates back to 1850, and they do allow overnight stays with reservations made ahead of time. Uh, I've been told that it's pretty scary. If I remember right, it's even been um, on an episode of Ghost Adventures. So a lot of paranormal activity happens here at the Magnolia Hotel. So maybe you want to come check it out. If I didn't see a ghost, I'd have to go boo. I know dad jokes. Let the storm wash me away to the other side of that one stop sign. We've been scared of our whole lives. I'll find hope in lonely days. I'll find sunshine in the So, Seguin is home to the biggest nuts. And guess what? I'm right in front of the world's largest pecan. This thing is huge. My arm is about half of it. To the other side of that one stop sign I've been scared of my whole life I find home
And the games we would play to the end of the day I could hear my mama call, it's time for supper y'all So behind me is the Almont Hotel. Now I've known the owner and we've talked and he's explained some of the paranormal activities he's seen in this uh, hotel. So if you're looking for a cool time, you may want to check out the Almont. Did you go? That one thing I've been missing. Wanna come? The Chamber of Commerce has been doing a lot of work to revitalize downtown and it's working. A lot more businesses have come to downtown. It used to be pretty much a ghost town. Uh, they even do things called Third Thursdays where on the third Thursday of the month, they bring out food trucks and music and the stores stay open later. Just another way of getting out into the community. Stuck in the snow. See my neighbor and his tractor me back on the road hometown small town feeling wonder where did you go so behind me is the palace it's the old movie theater Seguin and then you have Stark Furniture right here a Stark Furniture was founded in 1912 so 111 years now it's been a staple inside of Seguin Seguin is the home of the Guadalupe County Fair and thus they have the County Fairgrounds. There's also at the end over here four baseball fields as well. Seguin has many parks just like the one behind me. Great places for a picnic, to read a book, or just enjoy nature during a beautiful day like today. Street parades, waving beauty queens, local folks raising cane and the beer's ice cold. Everyone shaking hands, saying hello to everyone they know. I'm out at Bower Park. This park's going through some reconstruction right now. It should be done in about two weeks. But they just spent $70,000 on renovating this park so that there's more uh, accessible play equipment for children with disabilities. I think that's phenomenal. Um, but I'm going to take as much video as I can, but I'm going to stay out of their way just so I'm not a nuisance.
the sun's going down. Sparklers lighting up every cornfield all around. Yeah, we stand and salute all those who served who paid that price once you gave their life. It's a When you visit Seguin, you should come to ZDT's. It's their own little amusement park. They have a bunch of rides, go-karts, a little water slide, arcades, you name it. There's enough fun to be had here forever. Got So this area has had a long history of settlers, right? As they explored the West and whatnot. So this cabin was actually built by a gentleman with the last name of Campbell. He was from Ireland. He built the first section in 1850. And then he went back to Ireland, brought his brother and some other family members out here who were farmers and they uh, also settled out here and started farming. This house, he eventually extended it once he started having a family, but this house was just outside of Seguin, and they moved it over here in 1979. So the last family members lived in here until about 1957 or so, they estimate. So over 100 years, this log cabin was somebody's home. about does it for our time in Seguin. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. So please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more and more of my community videos and my videos from across the world as I venture across all seven continents in all 50 states. So until next time, I'll see you next journey.